G'day guys, Big Orton here. Now, if you're anything like me when it comes to 3D models, you either suck at modeling entirely or just cannot find the time to learn a new piece of software or to even just improve upon your bare skills. Yet you need 3D models for your area of work, be it animation, design, or game development. Well, the game industry specifically has been moving to a new way of getting these models, which is 3D scanning and photogrammetry. But if you're an individual or a very small team, it is going to be very hard to get the equipment and the people needed to do such a task, as well as being very expensive. Well, what if I could tell you that you can now scan real life objects using just your phone and turn them into 3D models? Well, it is now possible. Let me introduce you to Displayland. This app is from the team over at Ubiquity6, an AR Cloud startup company based in San Francisco. They reached out to me asking me to show you people this incredible app. It allows users to scan and create 3D models from the environment around them in a fast, accurate and easy way, allowing them to also upload their models to its own social media network. It is amazing to see how easy it is to use this app, and it is absolutely free. Not even any ads, it's crazy. Now in this video I'm going to give a general overview of the app, how to scan and create a model, and then I'll show you guys how to put that model into something like Unity if you're making a game. This won't get too technical as to keep this video as open to many people as possible, but if you'd like to see a more technical tutorial, let me know down in the comments. This video is sponsored by Displayland, so let's get started. Now first of all the app, it's available on both Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store, and the first link in the description below will directly take you to download the app. I got it running on my Samsung S8 Plus pretty well, but I definitely would recommend having a newer phone rather than an old one, as the scanning is pretty intensive as well as being a big battery drainer. Not to say this is a bad thing, as I am not surprised since we are literally scanning objects into 3D models from just our phones. Now as I said before, this app is more than just a capturing platform, it's also a social media platform, and is the first thing you'll see when you open up the app. You can scroll through creations that other people have published, and explore them in full 3D. If you have an account, you can follow creators and like their posts. With an account, you can also publish your own models that you've scanned, which leads me onto the other half of this app, the scanning. Once you open it up, you'll be greeted with your camera and a capture button. You're going to want to find the object you want to scan and plan a path you're going to move along as you scan the object. However, before you scan, there are a few things you want to be sure about. You want to avoid reflective objects like windows as well as harsh lighting as it will mess up your scan. You want even lighting for the best results. You also want to make sure there's enough texture in the area that you are scanning, both on the ground and around your object. This is because the more texture there is, the more data the app can scan and help create your model. If you want some more tips and specific guides, you can head over to the learn page for display land, which will be in the description below. Now you're ready to scan. Once you press capture, walk your path and start scanning. You'll see dots appear on your object. This lets you know what you have scanned already. At the bottom of your screen, you can see a bar with a minimum and maximum amount of data that you can scan. You must reach the minimum data amount before you can complete the scan, otherwise the app won't have enough data to process. Remember to try capture all sides of your object. If the camera can't see it, the app won't scan it. Once you finish, give your model a title and upload it. This is where the processing of the model will occur. Processing can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a couple hours, depending on how big your model is and how much data you supplied. Once processing is done, you'll be able to view your object from the app itself. You can either publish it straight away, or edit the model for the preview video, which is the video shown in the social media part you saw before. You can crop out some parts of the model that you don't want to be seen, or add some objects or notes that users can interact with and they explore your scan. And that's it! You published your first scanned object to Displayland, but we can do more. If you head over to the browser version of the app, you have the choice to download and export the scan as a 3D model. After I exported my model to Stump, I quickly threw it into Blender and deleted parts of the model I didn't need. I did this by going into edit mode, selecting parts of the model I didn't want, pressing X and then clicking delete vertices. Then just rinse and repeat until you remove all the unnecessary geometry. I also smoothed out the shading as well as attempting to fix up any abnormalities in the model. I then exported that and imported it into Unity, which worked seamlessly. I then made a material, assigned the texture, then assigned the material to the model. I then placed the model into my scene, and there it was! What I scanned outside is now inside my game, and it actually looks really nice. To push this further, I scanned some more objects in my backyard. Once those scans were processed by Displayland, I threw them into Blender to edit. Here is a great example of what happens when your camera doesn't get to scan enough of the model. You can see that here on the front side this log is very detailed and actually looks pretty incredible. But once you head to the back where I didn't scan much, you can see the loss in detail and how much more low poly the model has become. 
so just remember to try scan everything to make your model look as awesome as it can. Once I edited the models, I exported them out of Blender and imported them into Unity. I also made the materials for each model. I created a scene to resemble the firewood cutting part of my backyard. I then grabbed those models and placed them around the scene. And there I had created my own little fire cutting area in Unity, and it looks great. The logs are quite detailed, and they fit right into the scene. Then I thought of taking this to another level. What would it look like in virtual reality? Well, during my trip to the Sydney Eye Hospital, I had the chance to scan one of the clinics outside housed in this old brick building. This wasn't my best scan as it did rain halfway through, which meant the reflections of the water played up with the scanning. However, I still think it came out pretty nicely. I put the model into Unity after editing it in Blender, assigned it a material, and then got to work on the VR implementation. I own an Oculus Rift S, so it was as easy as enabling VR for the Unity project, ensuring that the Oculus SDK was installed and enabled. I then headed over to the Unity Asset Store and imported the Oculus integration package. I could then place the Oculus character controller into my scene and press play. And oh my goodness, there it was in full 3D and full virtual reality. It was pretty incredible to see, I must say. And this is not even the end of what you could do with this app. If you were making a racing game, you could scan a large toy car or even a real one and now you have a model of a car to use. If you were making a first person shooter, you could scan a toy gun to act as your weapon. People have scanned a person in a T-pose position, allowing them to animate the person as a 3D character. There are people who have created a level using household items and then scan that to place into their game. There are so many possibilities on how you can use this app and I would love to see your creations. If you share your model to Twitter, make sure to tag me so I can see it. I for one am definitely going to be using this app in the future for projects with Unity. If you're interested in getting DisplayLand for yourself, remember to use this link, which will be the first one in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again to DisplayLand for sponsoring this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing for more Unity and game dev related content like this. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a good one.